ऑल पीपल नो दैट ब्लड वेसल्स आर ब्रिंगिंग द ब्लड एंड दे गिव सप्लाई टू ऑल द सेल्स लेट से दिस इज अ सेल वॉट सेल लेट से कार्डियक सेल सो कार्डियक सेल्स ओके एंड दिस इज द ब्लड वेसल ओके Now, what the cell contain? It contain various things like it contain enzyme. What the main ion in the cell? It is potassium. So we all know. So who is the main ion in ICF? Answer is potassium. Yes or no? So that is the case. Okay. Yes. Press the bell icon and press the like button also. Okay. Like the video. Okay. Fine. And also contain what the substance like what myoglobin. Which substance is myoglobin? Myoglobin. then contain troponin i t c also contain creatinine kinase mbr various sub forms ldh okay so these are all various types of enzymes which are present here okay so troponin myoglobin ckmb ldh or multiple things okay clear so they are present in the cell are you clear now what happens is if there is any narrowing of vessel okay so that's where the vessel get so coronary vessel get narrow coronary vessel so what the most common cause of narrowing most common cause so what is the most common cause of narrowing most common so most common cause of narrowing or this vessel lumen getting reduced is what yes it is yes it is atherosclerosis This is a question, okay? And this will reduce the blood flow. What it does is cause decrease blood flow to cells. So what is the reason? There is a decrease in the blood flow to the cells. And decreased blood flow is called as what? Ischemia. It is called as what? Ischemia. And then cell will suffer from lack of oxygen. That cause hypoxia. Are you clear? So therefore, the pathophysio is clear. So you are going to have this. ischemia and hypoxia are you clear now ischemia hypoxia then present with something called as what it causes pain it causes pain okay what pain chest pain okay so therefore when you exercise sometime your muscle pain why because whenever there is lack of blood and oxygen there is pain okay clear and this pain is called as angina pectoris angina factors okay and mainly what are the precipitating factor it is exertions what are the main factor so exertion precipitate so are you clear so exertion will precipitate yes so atherosclerosis is the cause of the reduced blood flow and that clear so that's why we are discussing what coronary artery disease cad coronary artery disease okay now angina pectoris so what is the special thing it is a pain which is where mainly in the chest and it will radiate where to shoulder even jaw so radiate to arm shoulder left arm shoulder even jaw okay so that is a feature and the patient would be having what he would be clenching the fist in front of the chest like this okay so that is what the clench fist sign clench fist okay okay in front of chest what is it called as lavine sign lavine sign so what is lavine sign the patient is clenching the uh, fist in front of the heart okay chest okay that is called what the clench and finally there is what increased sweating because of sympathetic so increased sweating so all these are clinical features suggesting what myocardial ischemia so they indicate what they all indicate ischemia are you clear now so all these are ischemia clinical presentation are you clear plus heart rate can increase by sympathetic or decrease if there is a inferior wall mi okay so we don't have to worry so there could be heart rate increase or decrease decrease where inferior wall mi mcq otherwise it can increase in most cases because of high sympathetic so what is the reason increase sympathetic pain increase sympathetic and sympathetic increase all these things so pain cause sympathetic and sympathetic cause heart rate increase sweating all these things are you clear now comes the question okay as the hypoxia progress what happens the cell membrane breaks so what happens there is cell injury and death 
and death. So cell injury and death and that is called as necrosis. So what necrosis will occur? Which necrosis will occur in the heart? Options, liquefactive, caseous, coagulative, fibrinoid. So which necrosis? Question, which necrosis occur? Tell me, tell me. Yes, it is. Which one? So what is the necrosis we will see in this case? Answer is yes. Tell me. Very good. Okay. So understand coagulative. So solid organs always coagulate. Remember solid organs always coagulate. Okay. Fine. Now what happens is the membrane break and what happens? The the membranes break and as the membrane lies what will happen very good cognitive liquefactive is brain liquefactive is brain remember liquefactive is brain okay okay now as the membranes are rupture as the membranes get rupture what will happen answer is all these stuff will stay or come out so they will now come out are you clear now so what comes out they will leak out can you see this okay so this will all come out are you clear even potassium will come out so i hope is clear to all of you so what is now out of the cell dead cell the answer is all these are out are you clear now so they are out because cell is dead okay now they will enter outside okay and they are now increase in blood and they are called as cardiac biomarkers and this potassium also increases and this potassium causes ECG changes are you clear so once again what will happen <clears throat> whatever things are in the cell they leak out so what leaks out of the cell the answer is ckmb troponin i t ldh myoglobin other minor stuff they all come out are you clear now and that is why we rely on them as biomarker and ecg so what is causing ecg changes the answer is potassium is causing ecg changes okay so now what is the summary there are three things we are seeing for this acute coronary syndrome what three things ECG biomarker and the clinical presentation of yes pain sweating <coughs> all these things I hope is clear now now comes the question what are the ECG changes and what are the biomarkers okay so question for you people so question is first change in acute MI is all of you first change in acute MI you tell me then I will explain this one okay so first change in acute MI give the answer <clears throat> yes answer And what are the reason? Yes, it's the potassium. Very good. Okay, clear. Yes. Okay. So let me just give an idea. So remember what are the changes? So remember, first is tall T waves. They appear within minutes. Are you clear? <clears throat> so answer is A. <clears throat> then what happens? the ST segment elevation ST elevation are you clear it is what it is <clears throat> taking some time so it can be minutes to hours okay but mainly it is after hour okay so clear so take what at least three four hours fine so ST elevation is there very good okay so ST elevation okay then <clears throat> fine then comes the question elevation we are at least more than one mm in in two contiguous leads example v1 
v2 v5 v6 clear so at least <coughs> how much yes it should be at least 1 mm in two contiguous leads <coughs> and more than 2 mm in v3 v4 so remember this criteria so it should be this much it is a st elevation clear fine so it is because of increased potassium outside the remaining cells what is the reason increased potassium leaking from dead cell surrounding the normal cells are you clear surrounding the normal cells okay so st elevation is the second chain so what is the second chain st elevation are you clear then comes the next thing okay what happens next is there is pathological q waves sorry t wave inversion occur t wave inversion so now you'll see what t wave inversions okay so t wave inversion so what do you see let me say this is normal ecg can you see this is normal okay now this is elevated can you see so this is st elevation this is st elevation and this one is the tall t wave are you clear now okay now there is what change occurring there is t wave inversion around 12 hours around 12 hours are you clear fine and finally we can start to see what the pathological q waves pathological q wave are you clear so what is the fourth it is pathological q waves okay clear and they will persist for a very long time okay and they persist longest that is why they are basically for old infarct so the marker for old infarct the marker for old infarct are which one they are pathological q waves are you clear now so pathological q waves are marker okay clear so let me just show you this to you people so i hope you are able to notice this is normal this is normal are you clear so this is normal can you see everything is fine so this is the j point everything is perfectly fine then here the st is elevated so st is up and t wave is bigger can you see t wave so this is now acute mi stage okay acute mi are you clear this is q wave this is q so earlier there was no q now there is q wave can you see this there is q wave okay okay now as it evolved t wave inverse so this t inversion t inversion okay clear and what happens the t wave is now very well inverted so t inverted here everything is normal here everything is normal only q wave persists this is a old infarct are you clear old mi patient easy so old mi is the case okay old mi so i hope all of you got this right okay very good okay now comes the question question is is it clear to all of you okay question is okay where do you see st depression so remember st depression occur in opposite leads. So remember st elevation in the affected leads and st depression in opposite leads okay so how to remember the opposite leads how to remember the opposite lead the very simple logic remember lateral opposite is basically which one inferior which are lateral i told you they are avl 1 v5 v6 which are inferior 2 3 avf are you clear and anterior opposite is posterior done so anterior opposite what are anterior v3 v4 are you clear now posterior v5 v6 uh, beyond okay that is v7 8 9 so we done that already okay 
so if there is st elevation in the lateral leads you will see st depression in inferior or vice versa if anterior lead show the st elevation posterior will show a st depression because of mirror changes are you clear now so let me show you and then you will understand once again are you all clear here yes or no so let's come back and discuss this okay so please see this this is normal can you see normal in normal the st segment is same level can you see it is same level this is normal here the st is not same it is rising up can you see the st segment is up here and t wave is also tall are you clear now then here q waves are appearing there is no q here q is present so that is again pathological are you clear now and finally there is t inversion and q waves done okay so all of you understanding this okay now let's see one very special thing this is avl it showed depression yes or no st depression d okay lead one also showed depression <coughs> clear but 2 f and this show elevation can you see this with q waves this is q can you see so lead 2 avf and 3 are which leads they are which leads so it is which leads tell me <coughs> it is which leads so what are the diagnosis of this patient he is having the st elevation in 2 f and 3 so what is the infarct here what is the infarct here tell me what is the infarct all of you diagnosis and depression in avl and one diagnosis okay fine very good indrajit detective very good others very good sarvya anisha very good harpreet divya sujit nidhi anisha indrajit very good okay yes they are inferior in fact with the opposite changes in the this one so this is which one it is inferior are you clear now it is inferior wall mi are you clear it's a inferior wall mi done very good okay very good okay so i think this is clear to all of you so no problem no tension okay just two three things okay this st elevation means what it is going up upar par so st is going up na up up so is also call as upar par d sign so the other name par d sign okay so what is par d sign going up is called as par d sign okay now remember a very important thing okay that there are basically how many arteries in the heart there are two this right coronary artery so what does right coronary artery supply it is basically supplying the inferior part so inferior wall so therefore you will check the inferior wall via right coronary artery i hope is clear so right coronary artery okay where as the left artery left coronary artery has two branches which one the left anterior descending and left circumflex are you clear LAD is most commonly involved and it is therefore called as what widow's artery why it is most commonly involved in mi so what is the widow's artery which is the widow's artery answer is inferior is right and left is left anterior descending is called as what the widow's artery okay fine widow's artery okay but remember this widow's artery is asked in the exam so solving this question will make you pass and then you can marry so it will make you not what this but rather get you married okay from bachelor you will become yes husband and wife by this okay so widow's artery okay and this artery is supplying what basically antero septal and left is basically lateral 
lateral wall so are you clear so lateral wall is which one left circumflex anteroseptal is basically which one it is this one okay so anteroseptal okay fine so what leads will use here will use which one a v l 1 v 5 v 6 here we use what v 2 3 4 so therefore what are the most common involved it is left anterior descending then left circumflex supply what this one okay clear and if entire left wall left is involved then it is giving you anterior mi anterior wall mi so which leads will be involved all the leads v1 to v6 avl and lead one so remember this it will solve one question always so please remember first right coronary artery inferior wall okay then left has two branches left anti descending circumflex lateral wall is this one and these are the leads widow's artery lad is anteroseptal v2 v3 v4 and if there is entire v1 to v6 plus avl this this is the anterior wall what is involved full this is involved are you clear now so please remember them so i am coloring also so that you don't forget them done okay now question time okay i'll be showing you the ecg you have to make our diagnosis what is the infarct in this case okay so let's start the diagnosis okay so start here first can you see the arteries so what is this one this is left coronary supplying what the inferior wall can you see the inferior wall then this one is the left anterior supply what the antero septal part as and this one is going backward it is supplying what the lateral wall fine lateral wall okay fine okay so let's move on so look at this this is st elevation okay don't do diagnosis st elevation with what q waves can you see the q waves okay so st elevation okay now diagnosis make a diagnosis okay so question is what is the graph showing okay which am i okay diagnosis okay so please reply i am waiting for the answers okay reply reply very good so the diagnosis okay so which lead do you see depression and elevation okay which one very good okay so we will see in the lead to f okay and f where is f we see elevation are you clear so 2 3 and f there is elevation okay clear elevation okay and depression is there not that much okay so it's mainly what inferior wall mi so it's an inferior wall mi very good inferior wall mi okay clear so inferior wall mi is the best diagnosis in this case okay very good okay fine okay look at this one okay in this case where is the elevation which one here 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 okay v1 2 3 5 6 are normal 3 is also normal slight depression mm, not much in avf so we can ignore maybe avl slight depression uh, i can't see okay so i can see here which is the diagnosis yes so earlier was right it was inferior which is this one v1 v2 v3 v1 v2 v3 this is normal they are normal normal so lateral is ruled out lateral is ruled out okay lateral is ruled out it is which one v1 v2 v3 which are they yes they are the anteroseptal so they are anteroseptal in fact why because lead v1 v2 v3 show st elevation very good okay anteroseptal okay and and what is the artery involved what is the artery here 
एल ए डी सो द आर्टरी एल ए डी वेरी गुड ओके एल ए डी इज आर्टरी शबश दीज टू आर सेम सो यू कैन इग्नोर इट जस्ट लुक एट दिस लास्ट वन ओके सो लुक एट दिस ओके सो आई एल जस्ट मार्क द एलिवेशन फॉर यू पीपल एलिवेशन यूज अ ग्रीन पेन एलिवेशन 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 ओके हेयर आई कैन सी अगेन एलिवेशन ओके सो वट आर द डायग्नोसिस हेयर ओके वन शोज एलिवेशन वन शोज एलिवेशन टू नॉट दैट मच रादर डिप्रेशन इन थ्री थ्री शोज डिप्रेशन ओके एल शोज एलिवेशन सो वेर इज एलिवेशन एल वी फोर वी फाइव वी सिक्स ऑल सो वट आर द बेस्ट आंसर इट इज यस इट इज योर एंटीरियर वॉल येस इट इज एंड इज नॉट लैटर इट इज एंटीरियर वॉल Why? Because you are having all V1 to V6 involved, AVL also involved, and lead one is also involved. So that's why best is what anterior wall am I? Very good. So it is not lateral; it is anterior wall because you are having V2, V3 also involved. So that's why best answer is what anterior wall am I? Not lateral, anterior wall. Are you clear? Which artery is involved? Left coronary artery. Not LAD or LCA alone. It is left coronary artery. anterior wall very good okay so all of you are perfectly right and you have now master this topic okay so let's come back and solve the questions also okay so some questions for you okay so question number 2 most likely ecg change in old mi question number next old mi change in uh, ecg change in old mi okay you answer just one second i'll just check something in edit ओके फाइन सोड़ा आंसर ओके वेरी गुड ओके पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वेज वेरी गुड पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वे ओके वेरी गुड ओके so pathological qa okay so we are done with that part okay now we will start with the biomarker part okay so what are the biomarkers okay what is the biomarker which is first to involve okay okay see if you are having v1 see understand if v1 to v6 avl and 1 all are involved anterior mi and best answer is what left coronary artery if you see what v5 v6 avl and 1 that is your which one lateral wall are you clear so that is giving a idea you will use it to diagnose are you clear fine okay so answer is okay which increases first in acute mi which one answer answer very good it is myoglobin so let's learn this topic now so first is understand okay myo Globin is first to increase. How much? First, one to three R, one to three. Okay. But what are the problem with myoglobin? It is specific, non-specific. It is in all muscles. So it is non-specific. Why? It is non-specific in all muscles. So it is non-specific. All muscles. So how do you know it is 
this okay so it is non specific okay clear so that is why what is more specific it is troponins okay troponins are more specific okay so troponin i is more sensitive and specific are you clear so what is the best one it is troponin so what are the most specific and this answer is troponin are you clear now but yes it is very short life thing also okay and it is 3 to what 3 to 12 hour as per some book 3 to 12 now 3 to 12 hour okay clear now problem is if they ask you troponin t okay troponin t is having slightly earlier so it is also said to be 3 to 12 hour but t rises slightly before are you clear so once again remember how to remember it i am the most important person in my preparation yes or no not the teacher i so remember i so i will pass the exam i so i is most sensitive what is the problem slightly what rises first t so in most of the time in patient if you want to know early diagnosis we'll use the t but more specific is i so they ask in the exam answer is i is the answer are you clear and what will last the longest then the answer changes to l d h and drop t they can last up to 12 days or uh, 14 days are you clear so what is going to last the longest it is troponin t and ldh 14 so once again what is first to rise first to rise is yes it is myoglobin then what is most sensitive specific troponin i i and problem is what i rises later or after the t so t then i t then i and what is the longest lasting ldh is longest and it also rise the last it rise almost after 12 14 hours so that's why it is last to rise and last to end it is ldh ll so it is last longest and also last to rise last to end are you clear okay so next question which marker is most sensitive for the diagnosis answer what is the best one okay answer is which one yes troponin i very good okay troponin i okay and question what is for re perfusion am i yeah re infarct so re infarct what is the criteria again we use troponin i more than 20% so how do you know the re infarction has taken place the answer is troponin t level increase how much more than 20% very good okay fine so everything is perfect you have now learned this okay now what is the next step we need to do and understand so write a very very important point okay first the concept is acute coronary syndrome that is a c s okay and it has three parts what three parts clinical presentation clinical presentation ecg and what and what and biomarkers are you clear so the three things they are clinical presentation ecg and biomarkers okay now here comes the question question is once clinical presentation there it confirm ach is there so what is the idea clinical then what we do is we will do ecg so what is the next step ecg now ecg will either give st elevation or st is either normal or depressed are you clear so st elevation or the st is either normal or depressed are you clear here done so is it clear if st elevated it is called what and also plus biomarkers okay so plus biomarker positive this confirms our st elevated 
myocardial infarction are you clear now so s t e m i so that confirm which diagnosis s t e m i and if it is depression it is not st but now we do what we will again do cardiac biomarkers now if biomarkers are positive or negative if positive it is called as non st elevated mi a very very important name st e m i and this become just unstable angina are you clear so what is the diagnosis this is the diagnosis that is unstable angina versus what this okay so i hope everything is clear and what is unstable angina criteria first more than 20 minutes pain is more than 20 minutes okay so pain is more than what 20 minutes is the pain okay it is recent in origin so recent in origin okay then it is at rest also not exertion that means it can occur not without exertion at rest also so more than 20 minutes okay or some books say 10 so i'll just make it 10 so more than 10 minutes okay at rest recent in origin and worsens with each episode okay and worsen progressively yes okay so pain at rest is the main criteria and it worsens progressively that is each that is called what crescendo so crescendo band means it keep on rising that is called what crescendo <coughs> done okay now what is the important thing so remember one thing non stmi and stmi they are basically trans neural mi and they are basically sub endocardial mi so what is that let me explain let's say this is the ventricle okay this is the ventricular chamber okay if the infarcted area is this much okay this is the infarcted area okay this is only occurring at one this is called as what sub endocardial so this is the se sub endocardial okay but if all three layers are involved this is called as transmural this is transmural are you clear this is transmural tm so tm is it is involving entire wall so entire wall entire wall all layers okay so what is the case all the layers okay fine now question is so what are we going to do treatment is almost same but if there is non st is just subendocardial giving a thrombolytic agent can rather cause what bleeding so that's why what is not given no thrombolysis so the idea we will not do thrombolysis that the question which is asked in these two condition no thrombolysis is needed are you clear now fine okay now comes the question what is the logic so understand first the patient come with this uh, pain is there okay that is what that is clinical presentation of coronary syndrome okay then you record the ecd biomarker if both are positive ecd biomarker and you get what st elevation it is stma okay we have discussed that balls also if the st is not elevated and cardiac biomarkers are positive it is non stmi so what is mi diagnosis require answer is it require biomarker plus plus what clinical presentation okay any two okay so either clinical presentation or biomarker or ecg or clinical presentation or ecg so any two should be positive for mi so remember for mi what needed any two should be positive which two ecg biomarker or clinical presentation easy very good okay so this is the summary okay now how will you manage the patient that is the last thing then we'll finish and do 
with the physio revision part okay so what is the last thing so revision okay question thrombolysis is done for thrombolysis is done for please solve it so give me the answer okay so question thrombolysis is done for stmi non stmi unstable all of the above answer give me the answer very good okay <clears throat> very good okay so remember we will not do for nst not for unstable because that can cause bleeding and rather harm okay because there's only a small area affected why you want to yes increase the risk of thrombolysis so that's why answer is stmi if ask in the yes recent exam 2017 fmg exam very important very good okay so joshi sid gautam superka detective himanki all are right okay so our students are the best students they are always bang on target and last thing is what management so what is the management so do to balloon time is answer do to balloon time is give the answer 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 okay so let me start now okay done yes okay so understand the treatment of st emi the treatment of choice toc is which one it is percutaneous intervention what is that percutaneous intervention what is that the answer is yes we will use balloon angioplasty balloon angioplasty with stent so what we will do is we will yes dilate the vessel so that all the plaques extra are removed destroyed and then we'll put a stent either medicated one and it will prevent the artery from getting narrowed okay so we'll do what stenting yes so we'll do stenting but remember what is the idea okay it should be first within 12 hours of onset of symptoms sign and symptoms and the door that is from emergency door to balloon that is insertion of balloon in this should be less than 90 minutes are you clear so less than 90 minutes very good okay so less than 90 is the right answer okay less than 90 12 hours and less than 90 okay now in case you are not sure whether you will be able to take the patient to the emergency room and start the what angioplasty okay you are not sure so then the problem is what we decide so in case you think it's not possible one thing is what we do okay we can do within 30 minutes if we want 30 minute we can do is thrombolysis so the time for that needle okay that is door to needle so door to needle time okay so if that is the case we will do a door to needle what is door to needle time 30 minutes some books say 45 is 30 minutes okay 30 minutes is given as per the latest guidelines okay and what is the thrombolysis you are breaking the clot so we will break the clot are you clear now and how do you break the clot how do you break the clot the answer is the clot is broken using the drugs which activate plasmin plasmin break the fibrin threads so that's why we use tissue plasminogen activator they are mainly kinase and what is the best one it is tanne 
capital okay okay so tenek taples is used for that particular purpose are you clear so tenek taples is used for the best so the best drug we use for that earlier we used to use streptokinase or this uh taples but nowadays tenek taples are you clear now so tenek taples is used okay i should drink water done streptokinase is not superior what is the best one yes if you not available then streptokinase they belong to same category okay they are tpa tissue plasminogen activators okay that is pharma for you okay done okay now in case in case you are not happy with the result we can do cabg what is cabg coronary artery bypass grafting so we can do what coronary artery bypass grafting now which condition will you do bypass grafting the answer is if the pci fail then we can do okay or mainly it is done for triple vessel disease mcq triple vessel disease so what do you do here you bypass the entire segment of the blocked artery so triple vessel disease or double vessel double vessel disease with significant with significant involvement of the significant led involvement are you clear significant led involvement is there are you clear no significant okay clear or there is high risk of any you can say Now features which are not compatible okay so they can be using this okay or left main coronary artery so main left coronary artery disease remember anti infarct left main coronary artery disease so any of these would require coronary artery bypass mainly what multiple sites very difficult to do this uh, bypass is then needed okay so question is what is the graft used for so the best graft is vattima okay so lima is the best what is lima lateral lateral internal mammillary artery so are you clear so lateral okay internal mammillary artery is the case okay or in veins you can use saphenous vein but that is very very important okay so that is the final definitive treatment okay but question is what do you do in case the patient arrive so the immediate thing is what abc so treatment protocol abc airway breathing circulation and then mona so what the patient is also doing he is moaning ah marge ah so he is moaning so as he is moaning we will start with mona okay so what we start with mona okay clear so we will start with mona are you clear now what is mona morphin iv what is the purpose of morphin iv it is for pain in case there is no pain you can avoid it o is oxygen again give if spo2 less than 94 or 95% so that means these two are not necessary we will do okay n is nitrates mainly nitroglycerin sublingual so we'll put this tablet under the tongue okay fine so he is moaning okay so mona moaning mona ah ah mar gaya so we'll give mona okay and a is aspirin okay how much 162 to 325 mg and it can be given as chewable tablet they can chew okay so sublingual and aspirin tablet okay now aspirin is anti platelet it is anti platelet and you know platelets make the clot so who make the clot platelet so that's why we can club another drug which is another anti platelet that is clopidogrel again it is anti how to remember c clo clot p platelet and it will stop so that's why clopidogrel again stop the clot made by what by the platelets are you clear now so these two are very similar which drugs aspirin 
and clopidogrel they both are anti platelets are you clear now yes so we can give them are you clear now then they also recommend we should add anticoagulants to prevent the further clots to form so that's why we give low molecular weight heparins so low molecular weight heparins h is heparin and we all know heparin prevent clot formation via which mechanism via antithrombin 3 mechanism okay so what is the name of these drugs which are preventing this clot formation okay so they are heparin so parin is the name so they will have what in the end parin so remember heparin parin heparin parin okay so what is the full name so full name involved like enoxaparin so yaad rahega parin enoxa okay or which one the fonda fonda parinex so what is common term parin what is parin heparin easy so parin is this are you clear now clear okay so we can give enoxaparin okay so these two are a must before the pci so they are given before pci so if you are starting to do the pci then you can give enoxaparin okay and they also advocate that we should give a glycoprotein 2b or 3a blocker that is a monoclonal antibody so we can give what this gp 2a sorry 2b and 3a inhibitor again it prevent platelet functions because this glycoprotein is used by platelet to bind to the site of injury okay clear and what is the name remember abc abc okay ixi so abc ixi then m ab okay so abixi mab okay clear so abixi mab okay so how to remember the name mab is monoclonal antibody and remember is used in mi okay mi okay and abc is the name okay so these all are given to the patient clear and what is the extra thing we can increase the survival by adding beta blockers and ace inhibitors so beta blockers and ace are you clear now so what is the summary we will give the patient mona we'll start with mona okay in mona we can add the clopido grill okay and enoxaparin which is heparin and the yes which drug this one okay abiximab okay and then we can add beta blocker and ace inhibitor to increase the survival rate of the patient are you clear and finally we'll do the pca okay now in case of nstmi what we will do so nstmi we will do a delayed pca so if there's no relief by any of these we will do delay so we'll give all mona and all if no relief then we delay pci are you clear now okay so are you clear here okay so the summary of each and everything we have learned and let's do the last parts okay of our thing okay so question is recently we have discovered something called as what there is substance which is going to help us in diagnosis called as what copeptin copeptin okay so copeptin is basically a terminal part of adh okay and it is increase in mi not as good increase in mi so that's why copeptin is the latest biomarker associated with this are you clear so copeptin increase in mi copeptin increase in mi are you clear now okay although what is best but best is trop best is trop i no doubt okay done now we will see the remaining part of the ecg that we are left with okay so what is the remaining part just understand okay one is bundle branch block bbb so in bundle branch block what happens there is increase increase q r s width more than 0.12 second there is how many boxes more than three box why because if the bundle branch is blocked ventricles cannot get depolarized so ventricles cannot get depolarized properly so they have widening they have widening plus now one ventricle will depolarize first other will later so ventricle depolarize at different times 
so ventricles depolarize at different times so that's why what happens you get a notching of qrs notching of qrs showing what two peaks like this so that is why you can see notching clear notching and these notchings are called as what m or w pattern m or w are you clear so what are they called as m or w so how do you diagnose a bundle branch block the answer is one there is a increase qrs width increase qrs second is notching of qrs that is either m pattern or w so m c can you see two r one this r and this r dash so this double r's you can see there are double r's are you clear now so double r's are seen okay done so this is that plus st can also change we can see st changes like st can elevate or depress or t wave can invert okay so that's why you can see st changes also plus st elevation and depression in opposite ways okay and t changes are you clear so t wave inversion so let's see this graph and we will learn it much better here okay okay so have a look at this and then we will be finishing with the ecg and doing the physiology part okay so can you see here okay so just focus here can you see this notch can you see this m like shape so this is what do we see in the case of bundle branch plus how many box one box two box three four four box so it's a sign of what it is sign of yes okay okay energy toss it is the point is seen basically with drugs etc which increase qtc okay so i'll mention it later but you don't need to know much okay so it's seen with what class 1c plus class 3 antiasthmic plus what drugs which increase qtc hypokalemia hypothermia hypocalcemia all okay so don't worry we'll discuss them once i get time but right now let's figure okay so what is the idea so understand okay what will you see in this particular case let me explain okay so right first thing is for right bundle branch block okay what do you see so v1 v c r s r dash so what do you see r very prominent this and then r so this is r dash prominent s and this is r this is called as what right bundle branch block are you clear now so right bundle branch block okay and in the case what do you see in the v6 in the v6 okay in the v6 what do you see we see the q r s okay q r s better i show you rather than just writing okay see this is r s and r dash this is v1 are you clear so this is in v1 v6 you see q very big r wave and a very prominent s so this is called as what q r s q r s are you clear so q r s and in case of left we see notching in the r so that's why you see notch r in v6 okay because you know that r is notch in v6 okay and finally in the case of v1 in the case of v1 you see r s can you see the small r and a very prominent s okay clear or or sometimes what can you see you can also see this okay t wave is inverted and notching of this okay again it is what left bundle branch block okay or you can get a monomorphic this this is what this is w this is m okay this is w sign clear so they are seen okay in v1 to v4 done again lbb and this is classical r s r that is seen here in right bundle branch this is q r s q r s now what happens in hypo hyperkalemia so please write down first is remember hyperkalemia is similar to mi that is one logic you remember and never make a mistake so hyperkalemia mimic which condition hyperkalemia mimic which condition the answer is it mimic this okay fine it mimic 
in this okay hyperkalemia okay so what do you see st elevation in hyperkalemia st elevation are you clear now number two what do you see you also see the tall t waves are you clear and then you can see increase pr interval so these are the three main findings okay so hypo would be reverse what do you see st depression small t wave or inverted t wave and again increase pr this is something paradoxical we don't understand exactly why but hypo hyperkalemia both causes pr to increase both cause pr so remember hyperkalemia look like mi tall t this all okay fine and in case there's a very high hyperkalemia severe hyperkalemia how much more than 8 milli equivalent per you can see what no waves only sine wave pattern like this so that is the idea for hyper okay and why it's not looking like a ventricular tachycardia or this because yes it can cause vf or it can cause fibrillation also v fib also so if rate is less it is sine wave rate is more v fib or this so that is why it's a dangerous condition okay fine so see this so you can see t waves are bigger and st is rising pr increase then p wave can be absent prolonged qrs st elevation you can see tall t wave again and the pr can increase and finally this is called as the sine wave pattern clear sine wave and then there is ventricular fibrillation and you can leave these things because the blocks are not asked you just remember blocks okay so that is what hyper severe hyperkalemia okay so they are changes of what hyperkalemia okay slides i will give you if you want after the class okay fine okay last changes is what is pulmonary embolism so that is the case so pulmonary embolism is very characteristic first there is tachycardia increase heart rate and s1 q3 t3 so remember s1 q3 t3 s1 q3 and t3 so you can see s wave in lead 3 also lead 1 then we can see q wave in lead 3 so q3 can you see this q wave and you can see inverted t wave in the lead 3 so what is it called as this is called as the s1 q3 t3 s1 q3 t3 okay okay potassium above 8 is lethal you cannot survive so it will cause death okay some books say we can go as high as 9 or 10 but above 8 it is almost impossible to make the patient survive without giving treatment by giving drugs which reduce the potassium we can give insulin cholesterol esters or we can give diuretics they will all decrease the level okay or we can do plasma pharesis okay okay Harpreet okay now last we have done with this so ECG is done okay we have finished mi etc so what is the summary for you people summary okay what are the clinical presentation angina what do you do ecg ecg okay plus biomarker what are the main biomarker troponin i what are the main troponin i okay if you see st elevation it is st ami or the treatment treatment is what p c i plus mona okay and if possible or if you are doing or the what thrombolysis are you clear so that is the case now if ecg in this okay now if ecg st is depressed or normal okay and biomarkers are positive this is nstmi okay here also will give mona with as beta blocker all okay but no thrombolysis no thrombolysis okay so no thrombolysis are you clear here 
so there's no need of thrombolysis okay done and and in case there is no there is just unstable angina okay okay so no biomarker no ecg this is unstable angina okay treatment is same will give all the mona etc okay thrombolysis and what can you do delayed pci so this is the basic idea for this are you clear now done okay now we'll start with our physiology revision okay so what do we see so first question for you people plasma membrane is chiefly made up of what stuff plasma membrane okay question for you what is plasma membrane made up of okay so thank you very much okay we have got thousand plus subscribers thank you very much okay yes so thousand plus youtube subscribers okay so thanks to all of you and keep yes joining okay yes so physio now we are started okay so what is plasma membrane chiefly made up of tell me lipid protein cholesterol what tell me very good okay now here is the question okay yes okay i think that's why we need to do it properly okay fine so let me just teach with the theory part should i start okay okay now understand first we'll start with cell so cell is basically having two things what is that cell membrane and cytoplasm okay cell membrane and cyto cm okay thank you to all of you okay so cell membrane and cytoplasm okay now here comes a question cell membrane basically contain lipids and proteins are you clear so lipids and proteins okay proteins are more they are 55 to 60 percent lipids are 40 to 45 percent okay so what is more proteins are more they are more than 50 percent are you clear in lipids the main is phospholipid so are you clear so main is phospholipid okay so let's see this question and then we will discuss okay so should i go okay so now let's see this question okay so plasma membrane is chiefly made up of tell me plasma membrane is made up of what answer is proteins okay answer is protein okay so this is something most people get it wrong so answer is protein not lipid okay and now if they ask you the lipid membrane the pen is very thick okay if they ask you the lipid membrane then the answer become what then the answer is phospholipid are you clear so misconception it is not lipids it is protein and if they ask lipid membrane then the answer is phospholipids all done okay so now you are corrected okay now phospholipids are arranged as bilayer so keep writing the notes okay so they are arranged as bilayer okay they are arranged as bilayer okay like this okay this is the head tail tail head so are you clear so this is the cell membrane okay clear now what happens is lipid soluble can easily cross the cell membrane but not the water soluble so Adam, so what substances right lipid soluble substance can cross cell membrane okay can cross okay but not pro water soluble not water soluble okay now one question is there which substances are water soluble so understand a very logical thing madam polar or charged substances are water soluble don't forget this one statement 
it explain half of what <coughs> physio pharma anesthesia also polar are what soluble polar are water soluble are you clear so therefore the lipids are in the membrane to help what water soluble stuff so that is why lipid soluble can cross not water soluble so therefore proteins help water soluble substances are you clear so proteins help the water soluble ones okay how first is ion channels and pumps number 2 they act as water channels what are they also called as aquaporins okay number 3 they act as carriers example glute so is glute glute is a carrier okay number 4 what else do we have <coughs> so right number 4 we have what we have the which one receptors example the g protein receptor and 5 is antigens so are you clear so once again protein help which stuff to cross so let's say cell membrane sodium want to come it can't come so we require what a transporter so this is the sodium channel which allow sodium to enter so are you clear so ion channel and pumps okay so what are the five function channel pumps aquaporin carriers receptor antigen they are all proteins are you clear now how much is body water so let's see so how much is our body water sodium 60% of body weight is total body water are you clear tbw so 60% of body weight is what total body water it is divided into two part icf ecf so icf and ecf are you clear icf and ecf icf is 2/3 ecf is 1/3 okay so that is the idea ecf is outside cell this is inside cell so is inside cell are you clear so it is inside the cell okay now ecf which is 33% has two part plasma and interstitial fluid are you clear plasma is 25% this is 75% okay and plasma is present where in the blood vessels okay interstitial outside vessel are you clear so these are the main fundas okay so once again 60% of body weight is water two part icf ecf ecf two part plasma and interstitial fluid okay so plasma and interstitial fluid 25% is plasma 75 is what interstitial fluid are you clear so let's solve the questions okay question number next ecf forms what percentage of body water tell me ecf make which percentage of body water tell me answer answer so ecf will form which percentage of body water answer very good okay so very happy all of you are replying very good yes son goku vishal 
तमिल प्लीज करेक्ट सिंधुजा अरिबा आई टोल्ड ना बॉडी वाटर दैट इज टोटल बॉडी वाटर हाउ मच इज ई सी एफ इट इज वन थर्ड वेरी गुड वन थर्ड मीन्स वॉट थर्टी थ्री परसेंट सो आंसर इज दिस वन नॉट ए ओके थर्टी थ्री ओके इज एक्चुअली शुड बी ए शुड बी सी सो आंसर इज सी थर्टी थ्री ओके सो आई थिंक सम पीपल वॉट कंफ्यूज यस द आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री वेरी गुड ओके सो दिस इज आंसर थर्टी थ्री परसेंट आर यू क्लियर ना हाउ डू यू मेजर दीज वैल्यूज ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज हाउ डू यू एस्टिमेट वेरी गुड ओके एस्टिमेशन ओके सो वॉट इज अ वे बाय डाई सो टोटल बॉडी वॉटर ओके वी यूज ड्यूटीरियम ऑक्साइड और ट्रीटियम ऑक्साइड डाई सो विच डाई डी टू ओ टी टू ओ और जी टू ओ इट इज हैवी वॉटर सो हाउ टू रिमेंबर वॉटर विद वॉटर वॉटर विद वॉटर आर यू क्लियर वॉटर इट्स ओके आर शू डोंट वरी ऑल आर राइट ओके then for ecf we use e nu lin for ecf we use inulin or sucrose and for plasma radio iodine 125 albumin or evan blue dye are you clear so for ecf we use inulin ecf inulin okay just remember one that is inulin and for plasma we use radio albumin just remember albumin okay so body water heavy water d2o for ecf inulin ecf inulin plasma albumin plasma albumin okay clear and for icf no dye is here icf no dye means there is no dye use okay so you can just skip it are you clear so question number next deuterium oxide d2o is used for what thing d2o what is the d2o used for tell me so answer answer very good okay yes the answer is total body water are you clear now total body water okay one more question let's modify and make it if they give what if they give you a uh, albumin then the answer will change to what if albumin what is the answer If they make it albumin, what is the answer? Answer is plasma volume. Are you clear? Very good. Okay. Now we learn about the transport. So write down active and passive transport. Write down. So transport are of two types, active and passive. So which are two types? Active and passive. So now what is the difference between the active passive? So active is is high to low, low to high. It is low. too high also called as uphill like you are trying to rise to the top of a hill so if you are going up it is called as what it is called as the uphill this is okay this is downhill that is high to low to jab aap niche gir rahe ho you are falling down that is called as downhill okay to ab yahan pahunch gaye ab kya karoge kya karna hai ye matlab kuch jao kyun kudenge bhai अब ये अगर नीचे उतर रहा है आई डोंट नो हाउ ही विल फॉल डाउन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड वट दिस इज पैसिव दिस इज एक्टिव वाई ऊपर चढ़ने में एनर्जी लगती है नीचे गिरना तो आसान है कोई भी गिरा देगा आपको है कि नहीं सो दैट्स वाई हर ए सी बी सी तैयार है किसके लिए टू मेक यू फॉल डाउन ओके बट वी हैव टू क्लाइम अप एंड दिस इज वट अवर एम सी आई एग्जाम सो वी आर स्टडिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू पास द एग्जाम ओके सो रिमेन मोटिवेटेड एंड यू आर ऑल गोइंग टू clear the exam without any problem whatsoever okay so have trust we will all 
pass are you clear so active and passive okay where as passive what is the fund of passive it is going this okay so therefore it use atp atp here no atp no energy so active use the energy passive no energy active use the energy passive no energy are you clear now is it clear example pumps here what is the example example is diffusion are you clear so active and passive now active has two types active has two types right please primary active and secondary active so how to remember use a simple technique primary are pumps secondary are sodium symptoms so how to remember easy see pa 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 primary is pa 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 primary are pumps pa pa and secondary sa 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 so they are sa 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 so secondary are sodium symptoms primary are pumps so secondary are what they are secondary are what they are sodium symptoms primary are the pumps okay now what pump sodium potassium pump any pump okay so if the pump is there it is primary secondary are sodium symptoms like what sodium glucose symptoms sodium amino acid symptoms so any symptoms they are all using the energy of sodium so they are called as what secondary like papa is earning and spending money from his own pocket but a son is dependent on papa so that's why papa is primary and son sodium is dependent so that is called as secondary are you clear so sodium glucose where is it present example intestines example is intestines also kidney so many examples are there okay so now comes the question this last year june exam question question is o r s contain glucose sodium both why question is o r s contain sodium glucose both why options are there a b c both are need for osmolality energy source bhai ab sodium to energy nahi de raha sodium is not giving energy so wrong okay osmolality again true but that is not the problem he is already dehydrated this high osmolality then give water na so also wrong what is answer they help in transport of each other that's why they are given so what is answer c is the answer are you clear so c is the answer in this case very good perfectly fine you all are doing very very great okay clear so okay i think a uh, lot of you might be tired okay so what we do is uh, rather than continuing and putting too much pressure because we have done a very heavy topic ecg mi okay so we'll have a further test of mi angina their management etc tomorrow and we'll continue with the physio revision tomorrow okay so i'll not this plus there's a class taken by our both akhilesh sir also going on that is forensic and also patho by shushan sir so i'll not continue so i'll stop the class here okay clear any doubt i am available so i'll be answering the doubts okay so stop the class but doubts okay or any suggestions i am online okay so i hope is clear so those who want to just take rest have dinner okay okay eat some sweets brought by your sister or brother chocolates whatever okay and tomorrow we will continue with the physio so i'll just tell you about tomorrow so 4th august we'll do the physio part 2 physio revision okay and plus we'll do the medicine endo diabetes etc okay so we'll do what basically endo green disorders mainly what diabetes mellitus then parathyroid disorders then addisons cushings all so we'll do physio revision along with the endocrine medicine part so that's why you will continue so i hope you have now got a good idea what we are trying to do we are trying to revise physio also medicine also with some part of patho 
formal that is what integration is all about so i'll do physio obviously but with yes inputs from other subject like the medicine also okay so take rest okay yes so again the class would be this okay cns i'll start after and do okay because lots of people say okay sir please finish this thing and we want to attend we are class are going on so cns will start i think after fourth fifth sixth seventh don't worry we'll do all cns parkinson strokes headache okay plus all this disorder like upper motor lower motor sleep so don't worry you will have ample okay so class timing again same 7 pm 4th august okay to 8 845 because exam time is going my idea is to help you not to overburden you can please ask your friends etc to attend i know lots of people watch like this ecd video i posted almost 3400 views are there that means in the class there were hardly 5000 people but afterward lots of people watch so yes whenever you watch it's up to you but i will want you people to at least come online so that i can interact so please 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 7 pm we'll again have the class same youtube so my request oi like or subscribe whatever okay i don't feel like saying but again so like subscribe press that bell button whatever okay but main is what request your friends your sisters your brothers your ex your y your future your past whatever okay so <clears throat> please call them all and ask them to attend classes and if they want to not attend classes still any doubts anything they have any problem we are available 24 hours okay and not me biochem again i have told an uh, azam sir and he will just make whatever time available and that time will keep the session okay so we are waiting for his approval okay clear but don't worry we will have a class that is my promise we will do okay fine so bhul mat jana x ko zarur bulana theek hai because i think it will be the only platform jahan pe past present future all are sitting okay hone wali setting ho chuki jo aayega jo chala gaya jo hai all would be sitting in the class okay so i'll be very very happy to yes okay yes okay so you all are like If you want to make me that old, yes. So you are like my children, okay, or grandchildren. Happy, padhya chain, okay. But yes, the idea is okay. So I'll finish here, okay. But please request your friend to at least join the group, okay, because we are doing it just for you. We want to see all of you pass, okay. And the motive is simple. You have given us so much, okay. Clear. I have everything, okay. I have this chocolate, okay. I have this almonds, all because of you people. So I just want to give something back at this coronavirus time. i'm completely free i don't have any if i was busy i would have said sorry i can't help you but i'm so free i'm just going to help you all okay thank you very much good night okay and in future based on your recommendation will increase the duration take multiple session i am available okay 24 hours i'm available theek hai chalo any doubts i'm here okay you can just post the doubt okay kya nahi hai bhai okay rahul bye bye x ko okay अरे यार ऐसा मत कर भाई सुनील ठीक है दिस इज नॉट द टाइम टू फाइट ओके हग एवरी वन ओके एक्स मिस मिसेस वट ओके जिनके पास कुछ नहीं है पढ़ लो बेटा <coughs> देखो याद रखो प्यार मोहब्बत सब धोखा है पढ़ लो बेटा मौका है पेपर आसान आएगा पास हो गए तो बहुत सारी मिल जाएंगी या मिल जाएंगे वैसे मिल जाएंगी बोलना चाहिए लड़कियों को तो मिल ही जाते हैं <laughs> दिक्कत तो लड़कों को ही आती है कि नहीं चलो एनीवेज ओके ओके चलो थैंक यू एवरीवन विकास ओके एनी डाउट ओके एनी डाउट और एनी थिंग यू वांट टू आस्क ओके नॉट माय पर्सनल लाइफ क्वेश्चंस ओके वैसे मैं भी बहुत दुखी हूँ भाई समझा करो कोरोना वायरस क्राइसिस सब चले गए अकेले चलो सो डाउट एक्सेट्रा आई एम हियर ओके 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 विशाल विकास गोलुभ अनमोल इरफान अरे भाई हो जाएगा इरफान अरिबा सारा गणेशन ओके ऑल ऑफ यू सौम्या थैंक यू वेरी मच जोश यस ओके ब्लेस सी आ रिवाइज ओके ओके आई रिवाइज ओके सो दो से रिवाइज ओके आई जस्ट रिवाइज ओके सो अंडरस्टैंड फॉर द केस अ पर्सन कम टू विथ कॉर्नरी आर्टरी डिजीज ओके सो वट डू डू फर्स्ट यू टेक द हिस्ट्री वॉट हिस्ट्री मेनली वॉट एनी एग्जर्सनल प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सेट्रा बट मेन इज वट यू गो फॉर इसी जी ओके इन ईसीजी रिमेंबर व्हाट वी विल सी टॉल टी एस टी एलिवेशन देन व्हाट यस वी सी टी इन्वर्जन एंड व्हाट क्यू क्यू वेव्स 
now remember out of these four this is the earliest this is most important okay this is these two are what for you can say long term changes okay so they are long term and what is the oldest q is the oldest so thank you very much <coughs> here i will increase the time but again the point is na there are very few people who are actually attending the class okay so i don't want them to lose out okay so once you people are in good strength like 400 500 like last class there were more people okay okay some said sir the length was not working something so as the number of people increase in the class we will obviously increase duration to 2 or 30 minutes or maybe 2 3 hours okay so all depend on you people how much strain you can take what you want to be taught you give me topics now you are in group now give me topic list i will give you my topic list and then we will make and teach you okay and i will try to give you the latest updated material which is accurate to the last you can say point okay so are you clear so earliest is tall t st elevation is most important and then the t wave inversion okay where is class is always youtube youtube nothing else okay it is free for all 24 hours the video would be available 24 kya till the exam so you can watch anytime okay fine thank you supercut for 1000 subscriber thank you thank you it's all your love and respect that we are able to successfully work okay <clears throat> so are you clear so that's the case now what look like see look at this tell me is it abnormal or it is normal tell me is this ecg abnormal or normal <clears throat> tomorrow 7 pm again 7 pm physio and mainly diabetes etc okay so 7 pm physio i'll do the endo git etc and then i will start with what diabetes mellitus again at least five mcqs are guaranteed which topic the diabetes okay so please come tomorrow for diabetes <coughs> five mcqs okay Chalo. <coughs> so good night and thank you Haan. so i'll just keep uh, the answers okay so it is what normal abnormal we are normal air vaise to chahe to so indrajit it is almost normal okay what do you find abnormal here acha p wave yellow white theek hai so it's almost normal okay now let's make it abnormal look at this so what do you see in this ecg okay yaar akhilesh sir ka mujhe nahi pata bhai aaj akhilesh sir ko kaise kara rahe hain class okay clear because point is we are just requesting them we are not key we are having one team whatever faculty want to help you we just request them clear i want everyone to come and teach on youtube it's very easy and simple no need to put any app etc but again depending on their will their wish i don't know what their obligations are so main to kuch nahi kar sakta i will teach on youtube i prefer very easy simple method okay chalo so yahan tak clear hai sabko okay chalo to ye kya ho gaya st elevation अच्छा एग्जाम है सर ने डोंट वरी ओके कम आफ्टर एग्जाम ओके सो एस टी एलिवेशन वेरी गुड ओके एंड टी वेव इज ऑल्सो टॉल वेरी गुड ओके सो इज वॉट एक्यूट एम आई इट इज एक्यूट एम आई वेरी गुड ओके लुक एट दिस वन वट इज दिस ग्राफ शोज डायग्नोसिस डायग्नोसिस दिव्या we have double divya divya prakash divya ravi kumar very good indrajit bata bhai indrajit vamik aa gaya bhai kaisa hai vamik all good harpreet saranya arvind you attend class after your exam is over okay the class would be there on youtube very good again this is st elevation are you clear again it is acute mi okay look at this one What is this thing? What do you see here? This this very prominent which wave? This is very prominent what? Q wave. Normal pathological patho. So remember physiologically in V five V six and that too very small. very small if you see in any other lead or very big in v5 v6 it's pathological are you clear so this is what old mi yes it is a old mi 
old what is that pathological tubules okay physiology we discuss general physio part okay so i discuss 15 minutes see in 15 minutes we did what rather 10 minutes we did general physio yes or no general and self physio okay and i would have taken more but again you know the problem so don't worry i'll take more session where i'll be online sitting here you can ask me anything and we'll discuss okay so 10 minute general and self physio we discuss okay so two are whole physio full physio so that's why two are full physio revision and medicine i'll take 15 hours for medicine medicine revision okay and remaining time will use for other important topic like some anesthesia concept peach concept medicine concept don't worry okay okay so old am i very good okay look at this one a patient come to you with the following graph okay This is V1, sorry, V6. What is this finding? V6. That, that's pathological cue. Very good. Raghav, Anmol, Adarshna, Divya, Mohini. Very good. Okay. Evolved MI. You can say yes. Very good. Pritam. Okay. What is this? Diagnosis. Very good. Okay. It's a bundle branch block. Okay, it's a bundle branch block. Okay, how many box? More than four boxes. And you see what? You see a R dash. That is notch R. Okay, very good. Okay, clear? There's a marker. Okay, then look at this and try to make the diagnosis. Rather, what we do is I'll just summarize. Okay, first is ECG. How you interpret? First, you calculate the rate. Then you check the rhythm, sinus rhythm or not. Then you calculate the axis. Clear? Calculate the axis. Number four, interval. Then you can check for, uh, you can say, pathological waves. Okay? So these are the main criteria that we will see or have. So rate, what is the formula of rate? By RR. Rhythm is given by what? Sinus rhythm or non. So it's sinus or non. Okay. So sinus or other. Axis, normal, left axis or right axis deviation. Interval, we check PR, QRS, QTC, etc. Okay. Then pathological waves. Like I told you, what are the pathological waves like Q waves, pathological Q waves or we have what? Other ones like very big waves. So these are the basic ideas we check or ST elevations. Okay. So this is what we check in this case. Are you clear? Okay. So I think we have revised almost everything in ECG. Okay, anything you want to know and ask because I'll then wrap up the session. Okay, okay, fine. So I'm going to wrap up any other doubt. Okay, then we'll finish. Okay, yes, Q wave, RSR. Okay, they all indicate pathological changes. Okay, okay, if you want, I can just show you the graphs of today's class okay okay so these are the graphs we'll see so what is this thing this is the changes you see so t wave is rising then q wave is there this is t wave inversion this is t wave inversion which indicated again old infarct ischemia and this is pathological q wave earlier there is no q now there is q wave clear then this shows the changes this is st depression elevation 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 okay with q waves okay clear okay acha mobits okay so let me revise mobits don't worry okay clear okay so i'll revise them okay mobits then we'll do okay so understand a very simple okay clear 
Should worry, I'll answer and reply. Okay. So understand. Okay. Mobits. So understand mobits. What happens? The p by q r s is not one is to one. There are what few q r s are missing. Okay. Are you clear? So few q r s are what they are missing in this case. Are you clear? Fine. Okay. So now question is what do we see or have in this case? There are two things. Either it's a mobits one or two. In mobits one, there is some QRS missing. Okay, here always missing. Are you clear? Always. Missing. Okay. So some are missing or always they are missing. Okay. Clear. So some are missing or always are missing. Okay. Clear. Yes, Imani. Yes. Okay. Tom Stone is same. It is rising. Only thing is it is convex. It is much more convex. Okay. Like this is again see S T rising. Okay. But this is not that convex. This one is called as the Tom Stone. Thing. Okay. Fine. This is called as the Tom Stone S T elevation. Okay. So once again. As QRS is absent, we have two kind of things. Either it is absent always or sometimes. Just see. If some are missing, like example P wave. Again, P wave. So what's happening? The P wave and QRS are there. P wave QRS. But now what happens? One QRS is missing. So here what happens? QRS is missing. Are you clear? So this is missing. So this is P. This is P, but no QRS. So that means there are how many P waves? Four P, but three QRS. Are you clear? So four P's, but only three QRS are there. So one QRS is missing here. That is called as Mobits one. That is one or two occasional beats are missing. Are you clear now? So some beats are missing, okay, and mostly they are followed by a increase PR. So PR is increasing, and then it is gone. So what happens? Few beats with increase PR. This is called as Wenke back. But I thought I mean, ki agar yes. So the PR is increasing till a QR is absent, and then again normal PR. Are you? So that is called as the Mobits one, okay? Mobits one, easy. Okay. Okay. If you are getting one fifty in that, see, understand. Don't take these mock tests very seriously. Some of these mock tests are very tough. Okay. And I don't know why they make it tough, but the main idea is what? So that you people are buying their apps, etc. So that you are feeling that we need to know more, and the best is what? In fact, if you take even their all lectures, sometimes you will not be able to clear. Actual exam would be much more simpler. I am telling you. Because this time they are under pressure to pass as many people as possible. Okay, they might decrease or not decrease the qualifying mark. We don't know. Okay, but one thing is sure: the paper will be solvable, and you all would be able to pass with study of the important concepts. Okay, fine. Okay, now in case always missing, what happens? You will see either two is to one or this one. Like what? One p, two p, then q r s. Again, one p, two p, q r s. Are you getting the idea? So here, how many p's are there? Two p's, then one q r s. So that means there is ratio of what? Two is to one ratio. Not one is to one. This is called as Mobit two. This is Mobit two. Are you clear? So this is Mobit two. Okay. So I hope it's clear. So Mobits two is always missing beat, and some beat missing is just Mobits one. Are you clear now? Okay. Okay. Himani, again that is what simply when you have a elevation that is called as pardis. Okay. When you get a very very peculiar shape, it goes up and down. 
that is thomson okay again it's a mark of what acute mi okay in fact it can be seen in other conditions also like what this constrictive pericarditis also okay hyperkalemia can also show this very acute elevated st okay chalo okay i think i'll finish okay morbids we have revised inarjit okay bhai okay chalo take care good night all of you keep studying okay best of luck and don't take tension we'll have more test more mcqs plan based on your feedback okay so best of luck see you soon chalo bye bye